Well done, well done. What a great video to wrap up this week and to kind of capture all the good things that happen. We're going to close our time with something we actually did every day throughout VBS, which is our closing time, where we talk about some important training that uh, we're to be done if we're going to learn what it means to experience this life that God has for us. And I want to share something with you that, that we share with the kids. And one of the mistakes we can make is see, think that some of these lessons are just for the children. Actually, they speak to the deepest truths you and I can believe as human beings. And uh, one of the passages I love that speaks of God's love and Jesus' love for us as we've shared all throughout this week is a passage out of the psalm, Psalm 139, 24. And it's a prayer from the psalmist where he says, Lead me along the paths of everlasting life. Lead me along the path of everlasting life. And I got four friends that are going to help me just with an image that uh, we use to do this. So can I have the four friends join me? I think uh, Ellie and... uh, Bob, great. And one more. There we go. Come on up, guys. Yeah. Marty, you want to join us? You can be the adult. Oh, we got it. Great. Excellent. Come on up. Uh, one of the things that, that we're reminded of, and I'm just going to keep it right here, Tanner, is that uh, the Scripture says, we were thought of in God's mind before we were ever born into the flesh, that God created our inmost being, and that it was... Uh, God's mind and God's heart that we originated, and so we were born into this world. And some of you remember, and this is kind of a good um, metaphor, a good uh, 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 illustration or image of our lives, but when we were little kids, we would just uh, play with finger paints and learn how to crawl, but eventually get to the point where our imagination was captured by things like VBS, and we learned what it meant to start having fun and experiencing life. And then we grew a little bit older and we went to school, started to learn how to read and write. What does it mean to obey your parents, but also to kind of start to see brokenness in our world? This is kind of when you were, if you can imagine when you were in high school and you learned how to drive and you had to do algebra, right? Yeah, Yeah. not so good at that, Ellie. Okay. (laughs) All of us uh, that have lived up until this point in this stage of life know that this is an important part of our lives. We start to learn deeper truths about God. And then, of course, if we're blessed, we're able to even go further and to learn truths uh, uh, about God's love into family life and in the family years. Uh, many of us are experiencing those now, those parents that are with us today. This is the zone of life where we get to share God's love and we get to be a part of things like VBS. Go a little bit further and, and maybe, in this case, for Bob, a lot further. <laughs> Don't, don't get much older than this, right, Bob? Right, right yeah. That's right. We're going to pray for you later on. No, I'm just joking. Uh, Bob's a dear friend, so he can handle it, I, I'd hope. Uh, we get to be grandparents, and we get to experience the fruits, even some of the hardships of life as we look back on our lives from the very beginning. But this is the truth about God's love. God wants us to experience everlasting life. I'm going to give this to Tanner. And that we were meant not only to live into our older years, but to live forever. Will you hold that, friends? Will you take a hold of that? We were to live forever. And Tanner, I'm going to ask you actually to keep going because forever is a long time. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going all the way. Everlasting life. That's, that's forever. Keep, keep going, Tanner. Could you just head up towards the North Pole? <laughs> yep. Keep going, Tanner. Now imagine this everlasting life, this tape. Imagine it going around the globe countless times. This is the everlasting life that God means for you and me. And some of us identify with different parts of this story, but there's one universal truth all of us know, even though we sometimes live in denial of it, and that is that at one point or another, you and I are going to die. And the tape is written, uh, and it's ripped, and we will die. And the scriptures are very clear that because of sin, because of us doing wrong, like Milton and, uh, and eventually what uh, Shred teaches us is that even though we do wrong, uh, Jesus loves us, is that we don't have the ability to save ourselves from this death. But God has promised eternal life by sending his very own son, Jesus Christ, to come into our world and into our lives. And as he comes, he reveals something of God's heart. God's heart to mend the broken and to redeem us and our sin. 
And so the scriptures are clear. In fact, it's a passage we learned this week. It comes from the Gospel of John. And it says these words, God loved us so much that he sent his son as a sacrifice for our sin. It doesn't matter what stage of life you're in, Jesus has come to give us life and life eternal. And our question to the kids, and many kids decided to make a decision, is are you going to follow on the path towards eternal life? Are you going to invite Jesus into this journey of eternal life forever? That's a decision each of us has to make, and our prayer is that not only do our kids make a decision to follow Jesus, but that each of us would follow Jesus into the eternal life he has for us in the future, but also the eternal life now, in the here and now, in the present life and world that we live in right now. And that's good news. Amen? Amen. I want to close with some prayer, and I'm just going to, I'm going to do this. I'm a person that there's, believes there's a person that's got to stand in this place and has got to ask the question, when is it going to be the time for you to say, Today's the day that I follow Jesus and walk in the paths towards everlasting life. I'm going to offer you a chance to pray that prayer. And if you'll bow your head with me, uh, let's, uh, let's take some time to reflect. I'm going to give you a chance to maybe say a prayer in your own heart if God may lead you to it. Uh, but we're going to ask God to, um, to uh, lead us in something here, uh, a prayer to give our lives to Jesus. And so, Jesus, we thank you that you have given us life eternal. Thank you that you've healed the broken things in our lives, but most mostly that you've healed us of our sin and our brokenness with you. And you made it way possible for us to have eternal life with the Father. And Jesus, I pray that there are those uh, who are ready to make a decision for you or take the next journey, the next, next step towards a decision for you. And so friends, if that's you, I want to just encourage you in the heart of your heart just to say, Jesus, I admit I'm a sinner. I believe you are Lord, and I want to follow you by committing my life to you. So you make that your prayer that you admit you're a sinner, you believe Jesus is Lord and that you want to commit your life to him, ABC. Let's take a moment and do that in your own heart if you want to pray that prayer. And now, friends, if you made that prayer, I'd say that just add a, add a boy, add a girl to that decision. But also, some of us, maybe, we would say this. We would say we're perhaps in the position of being stuck, that we're no longer following Jesus as he leads us towards eternal life, but maybe we're stuck and we need to recommit ourselves to him. Will you take a moment and just recommit yourself to the Lord wherever you're at in the journey of faith and to say, Lord, today I'm going to recommit myself and uh, I'm going to enter into this journey of eternal life once again. Will you make it that your prayer right now? Lord, thank you for these prayers, our desire to know and follow you, to experience life to the fullest the way you want us to, and to do it together. Thank you for this incredible week of VBS and the truths we've learned about you. We pray that you would really bear fruit in our kids and in the family life of this church, that, uh, Lord, this would raise up uh, a generation of kids who love you and love our community, love others in their schools and uh, other places, Lord. And we thank you for all that's gone into this week. We praise your name for it, and we pray this in your name. Amen. 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 Friends, I want to just tell you right now that this is a church, UPPC, that is unabashed about the truth we just spoke of, is that Jesus Christ is the only way to life, and that is good news. That's what we call good news. We're going to continue to talk about the good news, because that's who we are as a family of faith, and I'm so glad that many of you are able to be guests with us today. That's a good word. Amen?